Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start this episode off by giving a shout out to Hunkules, who, uh, just wanted to say thank you. Apparently, uh, Hunkules has been a lurker for nine years. And you know what? I always appreciate people popping up to say hello, even if it is the first time they've said anything since they've subbed to me. Keep up the good work. I very much intend to. <laughs> I would be lying if I didn't if I said that uh you know, the username being Hunkules wasn't part of the reason I read that out. It's a very good username. But uh Yes, I very much appreciate the sentiment. Not that I don't appreciate the people who don't, uh... What? No, not that I don't appreciate the people who comment all the time. You uh... Just name drop, uh... Roshan and Gundy's lackey while I'm here. Oh boy! Not to mention your next unique brand of chaos, and, uh... Let me see who else... Oh! Noted. Maybe instead of thinking of uh, viewers, I should be focusing on... Oh, God. Oh! Oh, shit! Okay, no, the fuck that guy. You're gone! You know, I was about to use a line I have used a lot in the past, which is, you're not coming back in the sequel. And then I realized with the Taken, I'm not sure of that. This is creepy. Oh! But it's not pointing in any direction. I never figured out what I thought the first few times that it was like, oh, it's like spattered paint drops. Aha! But now it's almost like it's indicating something that I don't understand. See, I thought it might be the three dots are an arrow, but no, that's pointing the other way. No, it is pointing in this direction. Except that the... Hmm. Nice. Flare gun ammo. Ah, oh, alas. I don't need to reload that. Awesome. Oh, it's... Mm, derp. It's just pointing over there. It's like, down, and turn around, you idiot. In fact, I bet there's one on this one, too. Get off the rock. Huh. I stand corrected. Ah, there's one on this side. Nice. A technical victory. But a victory nonetheless. Sorry about that. Just want to look a thing up. Shout out to K.O.R. who has to say, Alan's narration is just a teeny bit try-hard. But personally, you know, I agree, but I think that's part of the fun. Like, I think the main reason that Alan Wake works as a character is that Matthew Peretta has such an incredible poker face. He's able to say these things that are so florid and overdramatic with an absolutely earnest tone in his voice. Mott at Cauldron Lake. Mott had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. 
They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, the, the kidnapper's name is Mott, and he's working for somebody. I say somebody because I feel like if this guy was a disciple of the supernatural embodiment of darkness, he wouldn't simply be referring to it as the boss. I thought that was oddly, uh, regular. What was this supposed to be before it fell the fuck apart? I don't like concrete. Just the fact that it eventually breaks down all on its own. You know, you can maintain metal and, and uh, you know, preserve wood, but concrete eventually breaks down. This isn't a science fiction game, but I am reminded of the uh, sentiment I carry a lot, which is that if mankind really wants to get to the next stage of technological evolution, we need to get to the point where uh, our where we can make things that don't break down. Nice. Which is a line of thought inspired by Halo, where uh, 100,000 years after the Forerunner's extinction, their technology is still working well, almost perfectly. Oh. I mean, that's one solution, Alan. You could have pulled yourself up on it. I'm just saying. It's an option. Oh, fuck. Oh, that doesn't look fucking creepy at all. That's like a... Jesus. It's, it looks like the setting of a horror movie that opens with a group of teenagers going 20 years ago in a sane in an insane asylum burned down. Here's a fun fact. The college I went to, the specific buildings I, uh, you know, was taking classes in, uh, were repurposed from when the entire facility was a mental, uh, asylum. So that wasn't weird at all. Never got murdered by a ghost, though, so, you know, there's that. Does this door work? Why are there two entrances? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this door does not, in fact, work. What was that sound? I don't love that. Oh, yes, I did look back there. Okay. Knock, knock! What? Tom, Tom. C, W, and T, Z. Oh. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? No, that's... Did you write this? Tom, you talked to me on TV. I miss you, Tom. Oh, boy. That's... I curse you, Thomas Zane. That could have been done on the way out. Okay, so the person writing uh, the, the messages for me is completely off their rocker. I mean, Zane's girlfriend was Barbara Jagger. Oh, yes, that... I'm trying to remember the name that, uh, the Barry had. That friend of Jagger and, uh, Zane. 
Cynthia Weaver. Oh no. She knew uh, Thomas and Barbara before Barbara died and Thomas disappeared. Oh, this is not joyous. Huh, interesting. I wonder if that just disappeared it, or if uh, the next time I get a shotgun I will have more ammo. Well, you weren't flickering at all. Well, nothing good ever happened in here. Am I not using enough supplies? Am I hoarding? I don't feel like I'm hoarding. It's just weird that I'm full of everything. Oh, why? Hmm, this is way too big to be the building. The whole mountain is shaking. Okay! Ah. Uh, well, that's why I'm full of everything. Oh, my God! She was in love with a guy. I have to say that. Mind you, Barry didn't say anything about her being, um... Uh... Well, from the appearance of things, an obsessive lunatic. But, you know... Thought there was yellow paint on that wall. Weird. I wonder what happens if you do this the very first time. Like that, specifically. Hmm. Oh, hey! I was probably supposed to see that through the gate, but I didn't. Which is just as well, because I would have obsessed over finding a way through the gate instead of around. You know, know yourself and all that. I did start my timer again, didn't I? Yeah, okay, cool. I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Oh man, whoever the fuck that is, they're doing something really stupid right now. I feel like I don't need to make a straw pole set up in order to ask you guys if you would. I was uh... close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I'm just saying. I feel like no one in this audience would uh, voluntarily go on a boat in the middle of Cauldron Lake at night. Wake wakes up in the lodge. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. 
I was losing control. Oh, good. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Well, that doesn't mesh with anything we've seen. And he can and that can't be like an example of the story changing, because then the other manuscript pages would have changed too. Like this isn't, you know, an ordinary story, you know? Like I don't think it's a thing where you can change just one piece of it without affecting the rest hey, of it. Hey, you! Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Sounded like he was behind me. Uh, no! Get away! I'm sorry! Please, lady! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I, I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have his wife! We don't know where she is! She's probably drowned! We just said we had her to make a play ball, you see, you see? They got a writing for us. Please. Please. Oh. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Oh. Oh. Lady, he said. I don't know which is scarier. Um, what just happened? Or the fact that he recognized Barbara's, uh, Jagger. Or whatever the fuck it is. So let me guess. Boss fight against the, uh, the kidnapper. Oh. I think we found that page too. Well, that will certainly do it. Oh my, oh my, what a wretched life. I was born on the day that my poor mama died. I was cut from her belly with a Stanley knife. My daddy did a jig with a drunk midwife. Who's that young girl in flames? Dragging behind him a sand. Of chains, who's that a young doll in flames? But well, up jumped the devil and he staked his claim on me. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. Again. The uh plot has taken a severe left turn.
So, uh, hold on to your butts, Burning Dog fans, and stay in the light.